Welcome back to Let's Play Okami. Now before we get going, I do this every update. There's a good number of items still left realm laying about that we can get. However, for the most part, these require it being nighttime. Well, they don't require it being nighttime, but it makes them a lot easier to find, and I get to show something off. So I'm just gonna wait until nighttime. Now that night has arrived, there are two places just here in town that we can go to. One... Hut... Dang. The fastest way I've found to get across water is just to do this. I could swim some. In fact, I think I may. But jumping and dashing gets you a good bit of distance. On this island way out here in the distance... There are three glowing spots. Now, two of these are white. And we get a stray bead. Now, the green glowing spots mean there's one of the clovers there. The white glowing spots only show up at night in their places where an item is hidden. Temporary Infinite Ink. Glorious day. Now there's one more item if I can get to it. Let's pray I can get to it before the sun rises, because night isn't nearly long enough in this game. It's on the clear other side of town, and I mentioned that there wasn't really anything of value on it. And for the most part, there isn't, but I'm gonna go there anyway. Because I can, and because it's there! Whoa. Yep, we can see a glowing spot right there. Come on, Amy, dig in the right spot. Free wooden bear! which is more stuff that we can sell in town. And then there's one more back here. Now, daytime is probably already on its way, because, as I mentioned, nighttime is very, very short in this game, and that saddens me, because I have things to do. But there's a lot of items hidden outside of town as well that I'm going to be fast-forwarding through me getting. And there's also two items in this one, in the uh, cave that we went to. And while I'm here, there's also two things down there. Two chests at the bottom of the water. Just use Slash to open them on up and grab the treasure inside. Yay! Now to go fast forward through and get those other items. As soon as I get out of town, anyway. In Hanna Valley now, there's a couple items laying about that we can dig up. And yet one more item that I left behind. First one is the one I was trying to dig up before. 
There's just a piece of coral fragment. We've picked up one of those previously already. Now, the next one is of slight more importance. As soon as I wake up some monkeys. Uh, I can't see. There we are. A stray bead. Yet another one. Now, you'll notice I have gone through and prettified this whole area already. And once you once you make all the trees all nice and happy, a chest spawns way back up here. There we are. And for it, you get a sun fragment. Our second piece of heart, for all practical purposes. Now, throughout this whole mess, I know I probably missed a good number of things outside. Um, if it was of any importance whatsoever, I'll get back to it eventually. Eventually, I'm going to boot up some master list, list where all the beads are and everything, and I'll make sure to get everything. Don't worry. I'd like to do as little backtracking as possible, considering how much of it I've done already. Now, there's... Before we move on to the next area, there's one very last thing to look into. We can move across water now, now that we have the lily pad technique. So we can cross through up here where this barge used to cross. That would be where we're supposed to go next. I'll be doing that here in a minute. Just before that, though, I forgot to go down here and talk to the dude that's in this hut. Sure, it's daytime now, why not? Because I can't do a darn thing at night. Hey, buddy. What's up? Yeah, you're, you're right. If you recall, when we went to the moon cave, the whole area shifted to that weird transient type world like up near Sakuya's tree. For people not of godlike status like ourselves, I guess the whole islands just disappeared. <laughs> Say it anyway. We kind of missed the newsletter. All mischief-making monsters should be. And with that, he's given us a wanted list. We have five monsters on this list. And I do believe, just while you're running around in random battles outside, they, uh, these monsters will show up. To my knowledge, they're not all that much different from regular monsters, but they're essentially a named version of a regular monster. Dang. I'll just go kill him myself. Hey, 
Probably. Well, considering I've waited for night probably three times already in this one video, or it could be nighttime again. That works. And a monster could attack us. That works. And of it is Toya of the Short Tempered. Now the priest mentioned that there was an that um I think it was the gods have marked these monsters. You'll notice they're marked by the holy arrow stabbing in them. This one's stabbing in his butt. Not all of them will be stabbing in his butt. And he's still living, even though there's an arrow sticking in it. So let's just go kill him. Hey you! I'll cut your thing in half and then stab you some more, why not? And get a demon fang from you, because I can, and because you're not all that special. You're not so special that I can't get a demon fang from you. Oh, the other guy died automatically. That works. Hooray! Even though he kind of attacked us. I'm kind of glad for that, actually. I forgot about the little tutorial fight there, but that shows pretty much how they'll all work. Night time, go find it, fight an enemy, see what happens. And now I don't have to wait five, ten minutes for night time again. And we cross off his name. Cousin, we destroyed him. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Killed him, destroyed him, sent him to the great world beyond. Pick one or any of the above descriptions. I'll show you off all of these at a later date. We've spent enough time this video goofing off already. Onwards to what we're supposed to be doing. What we are supposed to be doing, then, is going right around here. Now that we can make lily pads, we have the strength, kinda, sorta, to swim across here. Yeah, I'm pretty doubtful that we could have made this swimming otherwise. Oh, yep. Now, at the very end's a wall that, for whatever reason, I always have trouble climbing up. Or I could just jump up that time, that works too. Thankfully, those don't hurt me. Not much of a forest left. Are you sure this is a forest? You sure that's a forest? There's a dude caught in it. <laughs> 